Game Topper Nation, Josiah Bookhart Smart with Game Toppers here, and today I'm going to show you how to assemble the Lord Burkton Meeple Mat Rack. So, this rack here has a number of parts, we have them all laid out on the table here, so we'll run through those. So we have the two large sections with the holes to hold the mats themselves, two cross support pieces which go along the back of those pieces. We have the two large meeple side pieces. We have the two metal rods, which you're able to hang mats on. So for now, we don't use these till the very end, so I'm just gonna set them aside. And then we also have the cams and cam screws. So this one has 18 cams and 18 cam screws. And we'll use those to fasten the whole thing together. The only other tools you need is a screwdriver, a nice long handled uh, screwdriver is going to make it a bit easier, and then also a hammer. So here I have a little mallet, which is going to be better, but you could use a regular hammer just to be very careful that you don't bend the plastic at all on the cam screws. So a smaller mallet or a rubber mallet is going to be a little better. So the first thing we want to do when we're assembling the rack is install all of the cams. So on these pieces, you'll see there are 18 of these circular holes that the cams go into. So all you do is you take the cam, you align it up so that the flat end is facing the flat end of the board, you set it there, and then you just tap it in. Once it's flush, it's done. So we're going to go ahead and do that for the rest of the 18 here. And we'll be right back. So at this point, we've installed the 18 cams and now it's time to install the 18 cam screws. So the cam screws have this little gray stop on the bottom half of them, and you're going to put them in to where that stop is flush with the, the piece. So the 18 cam screws, they go on these four pieces here. There's the small holes, just like this, that the cam screws go into. They're tight, so it's nice to have your little mallet to just gently tap it to where it's flush, and then that's installed. Now do note, there are some holes on these pieces that are not for cam screws. They're a bit larger, so that'd be like these ones here. They look slightly unfinished. Those were used for hanging the pieces when they were powder coating. So those will be covered up in the finished product, um, but the reason they look a little unfinished is so that they're different from the other ones. Those do not get anything put in them. So as you'll see as I go through here, I'll put the cam screws on this piece, putting them in these three holes on the bottom, just like that. But not the two unfinished holes. So I'm going to go around and put in the rest of the cam screws, and we'll be right back. So at this point, we have the 18 cams and 18 cam screws all installed. So now we can begin assembly. So what you're gonna wanna do is start with one of these large meeple pieces. So when you're looking at these meeple pieces, the two cutouts here are for the mat, so the smaller mat rods for hanging smaller mats. So those are the front. So this side is gonna be the front edge, and then of course, as meeple, this is the bottom. So what you're gonna do is take one of these meeples and then start with one of the whole sections. You're going to align it up here so that this end, which has the cam screws on the back of it, is lined up with these ones, the extra ones on the meeple side, which is the back side, the side opposite the rails. So I'll take this here and I'll line it up and now 
because this is the floor, I want to make sure that these are down. So I flip this over and attach it like this. Now I'm going to turn this all around here so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so now that we're readjusted, you can see I'm taking this piece here, making sure the cam screws are facing the floor, and that these three are lined up with the back end of the mat rack. So all you do is you set these and align up the cam holes with the cam screws, and they slide forward. They'll just kind of lock in. So that one's locked in. And that one's locked in. They just kind of snap into place. It's actually really satisfying. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your screwdriver and tighten the cam screws uh, clockwise. You just do it until they're tight and that's going to attach and tighten this all up. So they don't even turn a full, full turn. They, it's about a half to, to three quarters of a turn and that'll be tight enough. And there we go. That's attached. So now we're gonna take our next hole piece and we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bottom half. So again, we make sure that these three are aligned with the back side and that they're pointed down towards the floor. Snapped in, and we're just tightening it up. All right, so now we're gonna put the other half of the meeple on top. Now, it's a bit high for me here, uh, so you probably wanna do this on the floor, but this is the best way for us to film it. So you're gonna take the other half of the meeple, and you wanna make sure that the rod holes are aligned with the other one when it's flipped over. Now, it's the only way it'll fit together, so you can't put this on backwards, but it just has to align. So I'll set this up here to where my cam screws are on the side ready to receive the cams, and then I'm just gonna snap this in here. So. So now that we've got this attached, we can put our last two cross supports on. Now at this point, it is gonna be a bit wobbly in this direction, that's what these cross supports take out. So you wanna be careful not to put too much weight on this, but it's, it's still fairly strong. So now at this point, the easiest thing to put these on is to set this upright. And so now you can see that we have the four or five cam screws here and also on the bottom side. And that's where the cross supports are going to go. So we're going to take this piece and just as we've done for the other parts, we align the cam screws with the, the cams and snap the piece in. So you want to make sure it's snapped all the way in in order for the cams to tighten. There we go. It's also easier if you're doing it from the side where you can see it. But even from the side where I can't see it, it's not that hard. There we go. You can see with that one on, already it's gotten a lot firmer. In fact, it's starting to slide on the table instead of move. Then we do the exact same thing with the second cross support on the bottom. And for this one, because it'd be a little hard to reach under, I'm gonna set it flat again. Set 
spin it right like this. So now, the thing about this is I'm gonna have to make sure I'm keeping a little bit of upward pressure with my hand so that it doesn't fall back down so I can tighten it. At that point, you're done. You have your Lord Burkton Meeple Mat Rack. So now that we've got it set up, the last thing to do is put in the metal rods for the smaller mats. So they're very simple, all they do is just slot into the two holes. And that'll hold all your smaller mats. And there you have it, the Lord Burkton Meeple Mat Rack. It's fairly simple to set up, it only probably take 15 to 20 minutes to assemble and it looks great.